Hey there, welcome to my channel, today we will discuss about the difference between C8 and C18 columns. So, what exactly are C8 and C18 columns? Both are reversed phase columns, the most commonly used in HPLC systems. They are named after the number of carbon atoms in the alkyl chain attached to the silica particles inside the column. But the key difference lies in the length of these chains. The C8 column has octal chains, that's 8 carbon atoms, attached to the silica. This shorter chain makes C8 columns less hydrophobic compared to C18. On the other hand, the C18 column is also called an octatosyl column because it has 18 carbon atoms in its chain. That means it's much more hydrophobic. Leading to stronger interactions with nonpolar compounds. Now, let's break this down. The longer the carbon chain, the more the column retains nonpolar compounds. So, if you're analyzing hydrophobic compounds, a C18 column will give you longer retention times and better separation. But if your compounds are more polar or if you want faster elution, a C8 column may be a better choice. In practical terms, C8 columns tend to be used when you need faster analysis and are working with relatively polar compounds. You'll get shorter retention times compared to C18, making it great for compounds that don't need high hydrophobic interactions. On the flip side, C18 columns are preferred for more complex mixtures. Especially when your sample contains a lot of nonpolar compounds. The longer chain of the C18 provides better separation for these hydrophobic molecules, but it might take longer for the run to complete. So, which one should you choose? It all depends on your sample. For more polar compounds or when speed is a priority, go for the C8. For more hydrophobic or nonpolar compounds and higher resolution, stick with the C18. To summarize, C8, shorter chain, less hydrophobic, faster elution, better for polar compounds, C18, longer chain, more hydrophobic, better separation for nonpolar compounds, but with longer retention times. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.